Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Kathy and I'm here with part four of my spooky Halloween book made using a 45 record album album. And uh, here's the cover we came up with in part one. And then on my own, without you all, I covered the pages of the album. And last we met in part three, I added the transparent pictures in the middle. And then I added some lights. So I know they're kind of hard to see with the lights out. I have green ones in the beginning and then I have purple ones. At the end of the video, I will turn the light down and show it to you. I still have not covered the back of where I attach the tiny lights. What I'm going to do is put a piece of a thicker craft board over it and uh, then cover that with a piece of backing paper. Okay, so today I'm going to be decorating this page and I pulled a few things and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm using this uh, these center transparencies is really mostly background and to make it a little spookier. I'm not using this as a tunnel book, um, at least not in every case. So let's see, I have something I think I want to use. I, I die cut this and it was actually a mistake because I used um, cardstock and the it was a cheap die and it didn't go through, but it I'm still going to use it. I wanted some I know I want some sort of a gate in the front, so I'm going to use it like this. And uh, but before I do that, I want to add some color to it. So I'm going to put the journal aside. And then I'm going to add some wax to it. There's my dog. Okay, I think that'll do it on that. Next, I want to add a little more color to it. So I'm just going to add some just shadings of purple. just like that. And okay, then I'm going to add a little black over this. To 
And I think that'll do that. Let me see what else I have. I have some flickering candle. So let me try that spray. Okay. And I'm going to take a moment to dry that. I'll be right back. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to bend it. And when I glue it down, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I want to bend it. so that it's, you know, looks like an old, old gate or fence. I'm gonna do that. And it can't poke out too much because the book has to close. So I can't have anything really thick. Maybe I'll put it crooked. Okay, I like that way that looks. Okay. Next, let me try to lay things out, which I normally don't do and um, see what happens. So I should have put her first, of course. That's okay, though. I'm going to put her. And we're going to put wings on her, I think. I'm going to go ahead and glue the wings on. We're going to go ahead and put her down, at least most of her. I love the expression on her face because it looks like, 
you know, she was taken and turned into this bat girl. Once she was playing in this old cemetery. And let's see what I have over here. I have some inks because I do have some ghosts. And even the ghosts want to get away. And I want to color the ghost just a bit. Before we put the ghost down, see the little girl has uh, her hand as if she's holding something. So I think I'm going to put the ghost on a leash using some black thread. So let's do that. Glue that in the back. Put it back in place. Oh, I love the expression on the ghost. These pieces, this is from a die set from Tim Holtz, the one with the ghost. Now, let me wrap this around the little girl's wrist. Oops. Well, let me put some glue back here. And then we're going to just wrap it one time and then I can cut it. Come on. There we go. Grr. of the glue bottle, smash it down, and let's get behind this ghost, smash him down,
next let's see what we can do up here I have this I don't need Let's see. No. I think I had some gravestones. I don't know if I'll use it. And I do have another half of a ghost. <laughs> that one looks cool. Maybe he can come out from the gravestone. So, This gravestone is also from a Tim Holtz die. It comes with a large skeleton. It's one of his colorized dies. And all the dollar colorized mean is you have different layers and these layers can be different colors and they tell you what colors to make them right on the die. I don't typically follow that, but okay. Oops. They're like right under this just a bit here, tip it a little bit. And yeah, right there. Let's see what I've got. I don't think I have any, maybe a sign.
and Kind of wrap that and wrap it around the back. I know I had some leftovers, some things that I cut out. These are pieces of embossed skeleton head skulls. And that gives us a little tab thingy. Now, I did want to add to the little girl some frosted crystal. And this is translucent embossing powder and uh, no, I didn't want that. Let me get the other. I wanted this texture paste, which is sparkle. And I want to put it on her, on her face. Actually, I'll put it on her whole being here. I want her to have like a ghostly look to her. And it should dry translucent, but it should have a little gloss-like appearance with sparkles. Not gonna hardly be able to see it, but let me dry it. Okay. You can't really see it on camera, but it has a, a kind of sparkly, glittery tone to it. Okay. Let me add some color to this.
I don't want too much, but I want you to be able to see a little bit of purple like that. And I think that'll go right there. Make sure it's dry and let's see. I am going to add some little more color. There. And let's see it with the light on. And I'm going to shut this light down a bit. See if you can see it. Okay, I'm going to turn the light back up. And that is all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. And join me again next time I'll do... We have a total of, I think, 11 pages. So I'm obviously not going to make 11 parts. But I'll come back and show you uh, one more, maybe two more. And then the rest I'll do off camera and then show you a final flip through. But thank you for watching today.